Hey everybody, welcome back to Age of Wonders Planet Fall. We have a whole bunch of things happening here. Uh, we need to pay the Syndicate Agent, which is happening down in this Molten Earth arsenal. We need to maybe get a... You know, just a thought. Maybe get a second colony up. I don't know. Probably a good idea. A few, you know, a couple dozen turns ago or so. And, uh, yeah. Other, otherwise, we're just going to continue doing what we're doing. I might start... I might start um, auto battling if we're really outnumbering them because we're starting to get the hang of, uh, of how those battles are going. We also want to see if we can make some allegiances with uh, Mr. Valentine and Mr. Zhang over there. Let's maybe try that at the beginning of this turn here. Where's my... Here we go. Okay. So these guys, they both like us, you know, a lot. A they like us a lot. Let's uh, let's just do one more compliment here because obviously, and then let's see if we can do an alliance for both. It's a fair deal. Valentine's pumped. Valentine's pumped. I'm pumped. Who couldn't be more pumped? Right? Damn right. If there's any more proof required that a Vanguard officer can set aside his personal feelings for his duty and the greater good, I think both Michael Valentine and myself have given such proof today. We're never going to be friends, but we serve the same flag and principles in the end. In a crisis like this, that is all that matters. Grammar. Okay. We did cancel this quest. I guess that's fine. Objective completed. We convinced him to cease fire, which is, I guess, the alternative to that quest. We get a Vanguard Walker. We can uh, probably meet up with this group over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got these heavy soldiers. This guy's going to join up with them. We're going to come over here and uh, colonize something. Uh, let's do... You know... I think strategically we should probably annex this. But I'm going to... I'm going to do this anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm still gonna just found the colony here. But I'd like to get a couple of them just going. Otherwise, it's never gonna happen. Okay. Uh, we've got this cool little group going on here. We could look to maybe just fight these guys. So safe battle. We're, we're like significantly outnumbering them. I'm gonna see what happens when we auto combat. Okay, so we take a little bit of damage. Nobody went down. That's my worry, is that we lose, like, a unit, right? Uh, but this definitely speeds up and gives you more of, like, a sieve feel um, without micromanaging the battles. But it's less fun, too. So, I don't know. Interesting mix. Anyways, let's see. We've got uh, piloting, so we can equip Tier 1 and Tier 2 vehicles, which might not be a bad idea. We did just unlock that somewhere. Um... Yeah, let's let's do it. Get these guys some vehicles. Speaking of, what are we doing here right now? Generating energy. Um I can't even queue up like I can't even queue up any of these things. I can queue up some troopers, but that's not really what I want. I wonder if I need a specific type of building to make just the vehicles. Not sure. Let's take a quick look here. So food-wise, we're actually doing very well. Happiness-wise, we're doing quite good. I'm going to switch this back to auto to kind of just let it handle that. And let's maybe do advanced military infrastructure. Maybe that's where we can produce vehicles. Not sure. But we need to go in here next. Let's, uh, let's go over here. This bunker allowed the other vanguard to turn this once idyllic planet into a wasteland. If we had an expert, I would prefer to disarm every single warhead and shut the whole place down. Fortunately, time is pressing. I propose a much bolder plan. Claim the Molten Earth arsenal ourselves and scare the other leaders into the, this much needed truce. Objective complete. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to have like a throwdown. I was wrong. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Annex the Molten Earth Arsenal to one of your colonies to force the different squad leaders to listen to your diplomatic solutions for this complex. To annex a sector to a colony, the colony must be a maximum of two sectors away 
and have the necessary population to support an additional sector. So we're going to have to... <laughs> frick. I'm going to need to build another colonizer and bring it down here. Good timing. Good timing. Um, can I attack this? If I enter... Establish a link to the facility's main computer. I'm just hoping that our guys come in here as well. Only six units allowed per army. Yeah, see... Well... Here, hold on. I'm gonna let's back this guy out. We'll bring this guy in. Do you want to enter this claimed structure? This sector has been claimed. Capturing it causes other commanders to gain a castus belly against you. That's fine. Okay, interesting. So we don't get to bring in. We don't get to bring in both in this scenario. Um, it's a risky battle. So let's maybe just reconsider this for a second. We could fight here. This is... We'll just destroy it. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay. Let's go back up here. Let's make a uh, colonizer. We picked up a bunch of energy. Co-walkers. Okay. Let's knock this out. I'll actually... I'm going to prioritize this as well. Oh, and we need to do... Uh, Diplomacy with Zhang here. Compliment you. Propose an alliance. Increasing your diplomatic state with this player means they will be able to call you into war with other players should the need arise. Oh, interesting. Okay. This could be this could be cool, potentially. Zhang is dead. Okay, Dayu Zhang is dead. They found her night camp harried, and with her charred remains still smoldering within the embers of the pure X fire. Damn it, she even told me herself she felt being watched. She even told me herself she felt being watched. <laughs> There's like some, okay. I cannot believe that this could happen under my command, but I swear I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna find out Find whoever did this and make them pay for their crime. This is my first time reading, by the way. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. I read it like a fourth grade level. In the meantime, I have the sad duty to mourn for a lost officer and friend. I remember Dayu Zhang on her first assignment. She found a broken owl unit behind enemy lines. She fixed it, even though my chief engineer told her it was damaged beyond repair. It took three days, but did it just to prove him wrong. Zhang fixed things even when they appeared irreparably broken, not just robots, but people. I always considered her to be the adhesive bonding composite that held together my crew. Worst of all, we weren't even able to retrieve her body. And we have to honor her memory in a charred piece of her hat. Oh, all that we have to honor her memory is a charred piece of her hat and the pain. Tapples. Oh, man. I know it isn't easy, Tapples. Sit down here with me and pass a moment in quiet and peace to honor the memory of our friend. I'm not going to lie. This war of words and treaties is more tiresome than assaulting a fortified outlander base and should better be left to some diplomats to be fought out. But in the end, what counts is we finally got our alliance with Hu Xiang. Now that we've brought the Vanguard conflict to an end, I don't see any further reason to prolong our stay on Leaf 6. Oh, I could give my troops a day off before we depart and let them celebrate in the Elysian Parks for old time sakes. But after what transpired here, none of them are interested. I mean, okay, so those are like the, okay, so we did this, the main things that we needed to do. I thought that maybe this um, Cinna kind of situation would need to get resolved. Um, hmm. Interesting. So, I, oh, I like this overview. 
That's very cool. Victory, victory, and survived. Shows us all, like, the major events that happened. We can... Let's see if it just... I guess this will kind of show some growth. Now, if you continue campaign... Although the crisis on Leave 6 has come to an end, the fate of the Star Union remains uncertain. Why have no other Imperial ships arrived since the void storms began to subside? Also, why could Cena act so ruthlessly, blatantly disregarding civil rule? I fear the chaos and destruction we encountered here is only the beginning. To rise like a phoenix from the ashes. This is how the Prometheans used to embellish their mass murdering and destruction. I always despise them for their methods, but in difficult times like these, their technology can be useful. Even if the Syndicate aren't part of a greater Outlander invasion force, I must prepare for the next time we meet. They wish to play with fire, they shall have it. Now... Okay, so we have completed Leaf 6. Which unlocks this one. The question that I have is... Does the stuff carry forward? See, like, I'm seeing these are all separate. This is another Vanguard one that would kind of go through um, another thing. But I think we probably all we start fresh with different stuff. Um, I want to do at least one campaign and see what it was like. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know some of you will, will feel like... I mean, if you're still watching this, then you'll probably want to see more. But I think there might be opportunities to explore some other games. Uh... This, is, this was fun, but, like, I think I'm going to start up another XCOM campaign soon and probably focus my efforts more there. I definitely enjoy XCOM more than I enjoy Age of Wonders, but this was a cool mix. Uh, if the campaigns... This is the other thing. If these campaigns all start from, like, base technology and you only get up to, like... We didn't get very far in the tech tree or anything like that. Um, there's a lot to be left on the table, which might mean... Which might mean that scenarios are maybe the way to go? Kinda, sorta. Yeah, see, like, this way you set up a, um... You set up a more Civ-like game where it's just like, see what happens. You know, and you have different ways to win, but it's less, uh... Mission-based. Because part of the... I'm not gonna say concern, but part of the, uh... What I started to feel in the last few episodes of the campaigns, it was very checkpoint oriented. And you're very much like, uh, you're very much running around and just like hitting the checkpoints. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Mission, mission complete, mission complete. Without really needing to consider much strategy. Um, I'm sure that changes as you go, and I'm sure that things get a lot more difficult. But either way, that's, um, that was uh, a challenge and it was it's a lot to take in there's a lot to learn in this game but i think i'll probably focus my efforts on other stuff i enjoyed this a lot and uh i'm interested to see where it goes but if you guys were watching and uh, you have any thoughts on the game i'd love to hear what you what you liked what you didn't like and uh overall thoughts on the campaign that i did from a, a viewer perspective. If you guys have suggestions of games that you'd like to see that are up and coming, let me know. As I said, I'm gonna be starting a new XCOM campaign very soon, and uh, I'd be looking for your your uh, insights on new things that I should keep my eye on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you had a good time, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.